Oh, yes. Welcome back once again, everyone. Today I've got a surprise review for you. This is the Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Nemesis Prime toy. This toy was a Japanese exclusive figure that, for some reason, I completely slept on when it was actually released. Don't know why I did that, honestly. Um, kind of flew under my radar, I guess, because I'm pretty much a completionist when it comes to Siege. Uh, so I fixed my horrible error in judgment and ordered this guy, and it took him a while to get here because of customs and everything, and you know everything that's going on right now with the Rona. But I finally have him here, so uh, I want to go ahead and do a review for you all because I'm pretty excited about this. So, if you are familiar with my reviews, you know how this goes. We're going to take a look at the toy's packaging, we're going to open it up, see the instructions, and then we're going to look at Nemesis himself in both his vehicle and robot modes. Naturally, I'll be doing comparisons with Optimus Prime today, and then at the end of the video, I'll give my final thoughts. So, Nemesis Prime comes in an interesting package. You can see it's got the usual branding for Siege. Uh, the logo down here is a bit different. I guess that's a Japanese thing. A little bit of Japanese text right here. And they have his name on here, Nemesis Prime. There's no number like on the American releases because he's not part of that normal lineup. Now the weird thing is that his picture is just a reuse of Optimus's picture, uh, not recolored or anything. So odd choice. I mean, you know, he's a one-off exclusive, so I guess they just didn't feel like investing in new artwork. And if I recall correctly, I think he's a uh, Takara Tomy Mall exclusive. Correct me if I'm wrong there. Uh, on the back, we just have the renders of him. Actually, those aren't even renders, are they? Those are, that's actual stock footage. So that's different. Very interesting. The RF Ion Blaster, and he comes with an Ancient Sword, which replaces the shield slash axe weapon that Optimus comes with. And the sword itself is actually a redeco of the Alpha Trion Sword from Titan's Return. Uh, down here you got, I guess, what is the typical Japanese, uh, you know, text and legal stuff. Don't know, it was my first Japanese Siege release. Uh, here you got the usual Siege artwork with the slightly altered logo or Japanese text that I cannot read. And that's it. Normal top, more text on the bottom. All right, so let's open up Nemesis. So here are the instructions, which are a little different from the uh, English instructions that they're still done on gloss paper and then obviously Japanese text. But something you'll notice is that these say Optimus Prime on them. They even have Optimus's number here. So not only, did they not change the package art, but they just used Optimus's instructions. Even to the point of including his axe and shield weapon that is not included with this toy and omitting the sword entirely. So, just really, really low effort here. I've never seen anything like this where they just don't even give the, the exclusive new instructions, or at least not from Takara, right? Uh, I know like the Collector's Club was kind of bad about that, but that's a real shame there. This does not feel like a premium figure one bit. It feels like something just slapped together last minute. Now here we have the vehicle mode. And you can see just this really nice mix of black and teal with red for the windshields. Interestingly, the windshield color doesn't match the rest of the translucent plastic, so that's kind of cool. Clash is a bit here because then you have this like red on teal that's supposed to be one window, but okay. Uh, you can see that I stored the sword along the side here because frankly that just seems to be the best place to put it. It's most out of the way. It comes down pretty low but doesn't actually obstruct the wheels from doing their thing. It rolls nice and smoothly, so that's good. The gun, could always put it back here if you want to. Though it doesn't go in very far because of that little nub there. So I'm just going to keep it on top for now. But overall, very cool looking truck, very wicked. It's got the nice Decepticon symbol right there. And the blacks on it, they're a, it's a little light, slightly faded looking. But I think it gets the job done. Like you can look at this and you just, you know who this character is supposed to be without questioning it. So I'd call that a success.
And here are the two Optimus Primes that are based on this mold. You have the regular Siege Prime here, which was the first use of it. And he's just got pretty standard Optimus toy coloration. A lot of battle damage. And then this is the cell shaded one for the 35th anniversary. Goes for much more of a cartoon vibe. And I'm also just now noticing that they actually painted this part red to make the cab look more complete. I did not notice that when I reviewed it. But that's there, it's a neat touch. Anyway, um, so this guy, he's kind of a middle ground between them as far as the art style. He doesn't have the cell shading, he's not you know cartoony looking, but he also doesn't have like the grit and the battle damage either. He's very clean. So he's more in line with just a standard Transformers release. And overall, he really seems like more of a one-for-one -one color swap with the regular version, right up to including the translucent, you know, grill section and all that. Nemesis, like Optimus, can also achieve that hover mode. And all you do, you just flip the wheels down, so they kind of slot in place there. And then you take his regular wheels and you just pull them down. I guess this kind of creates an issue with the sword being there, huh? But basically just do it like this. So, you know, a lot of people criticize Siege for supposedly being, you know, Cybertronian alt modes, but looking a lot like regular Earth vehicles, right down to like rubber tires. So it's kind of a way to get around that. Make him look a bit more alien. Overall, it's all right. It's pretty good. Okay, now here's Nemesis in his robot mode. And you see very menacing looking. He's got those wicked red eyes there, red windshield. Looks very cool. And look at that sword. Sword's actually pink. Oddly enough, you'd think it'd be red like his windshield, but it's not. And of course the hilt and pommel and all that, they're all painted black, which actually makes for a pretty tight fit into his fist. So be a little cautious as you put that in there. You don't want to scrape the paint off the handle. Uh, naturally, he comes with the same ion blaster that Optimus does. And one thing that's worth showing off here, his little inner chest chamber thing uh, is painted silver like the regular Optimus version. So that's good. Glad they kept that detail there. And overall, he just looks really awesome. I mean, looks exactly how you would expect a Nemesis Prime to look. Uh, joints are perfect on this guy. No looseness, no issues, nothing like that. Feels just like my other versions. And overall, I just I like the way this came out. Here are two Optimuses again, just so you can see the comparison. And uh, yeah. It makes for a pretty nice contrast between these, and really he works for either one. You know, he's got kind of the darker color palette of the Siege Optimus, but he also has the clean aesthetic of the animation one. So he really pairs well with either one. So, uh, you know, regardless of which version you chose, he won't feel out of place against it if you do pick this guy up. Now, I mentioned how his sword is a recolor of the one that came with Alpha Trion from Titan's Return, so for fun, here is Tryon's sword being wielded by Optimus, just so you can get a real, you know, direct one-for-one -one comparison between these. Now the sword coloration really doesn't match Optimus, you know, it doesn't work for him very well. So just imagine, if you will, that this is done up in more prime-like colors. Whether that's maybe a lighter orange to look like his Energon Axe, or, you know, maybe some kind of blue and red, who knows. But. For all you folks out there that like to play with your toys, you could have a lot of fun, you know, having these two clash and go just blade to blade with each other. It's also interesting how popular the sword has been for Takara and their recolors, because they also use this mold for the sword that belongs to Magna Convoy. Which, if you're not familiar with him, he was a blue redeco of Classics Optimus Prime, so, you know, pretty old mold at this point, um, meant to homage the inner robot of the old powered convoy from Diaclone. And he also rocked a recolored Alpha Trion sword that I, I think it was called the Magna Blade or Magna Sword or something. Can't fully remember, but I think it works better with these guys, a little more proportional and they can strike some much more dynamic poses than Classics Optimus Prime can. And this will be my final group shot of the review. This is the only other Nemesis Prime I own, which is the Power of the Primes version. And 
you can see he's a pretty different take on the Nemesis Prime concept. Instead of being just a straight read echo of an Optimus, he's pretty heavily retooled to have his own unique head for both the super robot form that you see here and also the smaller Nemesis Pax form that is truck cab forms. Uh, but he's also an homage to several other Nemesis Primes. The uh, smokestack cannons there on his forearms homage the original Nemesis, which was an Armada character. The sword here, Giza, is based off of the Prime Continuity's uh, Micron partner for Nemesis. And then the red sword here is the Dark Saber, which is like a dark version of the Star Saber, uh, which is from a couple continuities. I don't know exactly which one that's supposed to be. Doesn't really look like any of them. But it's cool. You know, this kind of looks like a dimension hopping version of the character, whereas this one's more strictly G1. Now, personally, I think this leader class nemesis is still my favorite, just because he comes with so many extras and he just does so much differently. Though at the same time, he is derived from a mold that has some pretty glaring flaws too. So it still makes Siege Nemesis a very viable alternative because the Siege Optimus Prime mold is just very solid. I mean, it is one of the best Optimus Prime toys ever made beaten out only maybe by the Earthrise version. So yeah, I mean, it's a solid toy. Nothing to hate about it. It does what you expect from a Nemesis Prime. It's based on one of the best Optimuses you can get out there. Uh, the price is a little steep. You know, anything from Japan is gonna be a little higher. And I think this retailed for about 60 bucks, I wanna say. Somewhere around there. That's that's about how much I paid for it. And that was actually aftermarket prices. So I feel like I kind of got a pretty good deal there. Though with shipping and everything, it did come to a bit more. But uh, so it's not for everybody, right? If you're on a budget, you don't really want to drop $60 on a black repainted Voyager. But for those who are more completionist and want all of Siege, well, your only way to get the last little cherry on top of the line would be to pick this guy up from um, Japan somehow. Whether that's through an importer or you know, an eBay seller or whatever works. Now, of course, he's been out for a bit. Finding him is gonna be a little harder than it was when he first came out, and you could potentially see some price galloping. So, you know, I wouldn't pay more than about 60 for him. And honestly, if you're, if you're paying much more than that, I mean, there's not that much here to get excited about. Of course, value is subjective. So I guess I'll leave the question to you all. What do you think? Do you think he's worth the high prices? Is this something that you're interested in picking up or do you just not care about another Black Optimus repaint? Any and all opinions are certainly welcome in the comments section. If you enjoyed this review, make sure to toss it a like, let YouTube know you wanna see more stuff like this. If you do wanna see more like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you always get a heads up when I post something new. And thank you for joining me for this look at the dark reflection of everyone's favorite hero. And with all that said, I will see you next time.